finally, let's work a little bit with scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way of writing really big numbers or really tiny decimals in a shorthand way, so we don't have to write out all the zeros inside the numbers. So if we want to change from standard form to scientific notation, we want to place a decimal somewhere in our number so that we create a number between 1 and 10. So where we would put this decimal here to create a number between 1 and 10 would be right there, in between the 9 and the 2, because 9 is in between 1 and 10. So we're going to rewrite this. We're going to say 9.28. Okay, we chop off all those extra zeros. You're always going to have times 10 to some power. Now it's important to remember this here. A positive exponent is going to give you a big number. If you put a negative exponent, it means you're talking about a decimal. So here it was a big number, so we're going to have a positive exponent. And to determine what that exponent is going to be, we're going to start with our original decimal and see how many spots we slid to get to our new decimal. Well, you have to remember that on a whole number, there's an invisible decimal at the end of it. Okay, so we slid it once, twice, three times, four, five, six. So it would be 9.28 times 10 to the sixth power. For this one, since it's a decimal, we know it's going to have a negative exponent. So we need to find a number between 1 and 10. That would happen by placing the decimal between the 6 and the 2. And then we're going to count how many we moved. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 6.2 times 10 to the negative 5th. To go back from scientific notation to standard form. Well, we're going to say, let's take that 2.78 and write it over here to give ourselves a little bit more room. And since it's 10 to the 7th power, we want to move it 7 places. Now, since it's a positive 7, it means we're creating a big number, so we want to slide that decimal point to the right. So we're going to start here and move it 7 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And with all those blank spots, we're going to fill in zeros. So our final answer would be 27,800,000. Let's rewrite 4.15. We need to move it five decimal places, and since it's a negative number, we're creating a decimal, which means we move it to the left. So we're moving it once, twice, three, four, five. We fill in those decimals. Okay, notice it's not how many zeros we add to our number, it's how many times we slide that decimal place. So our answer is 0 0.0000415. Finally, let's multiply two numbers in scientific notation. We have 2.7 times 10 to the 7th and 3.1 times 10 to the 5th. Now multiplication is commutative and associative, it means we can change up the groups and we can do whatever order we want. So let's group 2.7 and 3.1 together. And group 10 to the 7th times 10 to the 5th together. 2.7 times 3.1 be 7 times 2. And then 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. One decimal place here, one decimal place here, which means two decimal places in our answer. So this gives us 8.37. And we learned that when we multiply the same base, we add our exponents together. So it would be 10 to the 12th power.